So I wanted to share with you um, my relationship spread. Um, this can be used for any relationship, friendship, romantic, um, anything. I am not going to do a romantic reading for myself. Um, I don't do dummy spreads because I just don't think they share the true essence of the cards. So this is um, about myself and a friend. I've shuffled the pack. When you're doing this reading, you always start either with yourself or the person you're reading for, the person you're most c clearly connected with. And the first card therefore represents me. Um, and it represents me within this relationship. And so this friendship is definitely the Seven of Pentacles is a card of harvest and of making informed choices for the future, sowing the seed. This friendship certainly made me uh, stop and evaluate my life. Crossing me, uh, the Three of Wands. This is a problem, a situation to be resolved learning experience, something to be overcome. This person uh, thinks more highly of me than I do. They project a better version of myself onto me. Um, so it's definitely encouraging me to see my, um, my skills and my attributes, if you like. And the third card is how I am within this relationship. So to me, the hanged man is Odin, a very shamanic card. This person's definitely brought out a more Norse shamanic side in me. So that's me. Uh, and now we simply repeat the process for the other person. So what is this person within this relationship? So the six pentacles, there's a little bit of control within there. And I think that's true. This person has a set agenda of what they want from the friendship. Uh, they've been quite open about it, but there is that expectation. There is a certain amount of arguably control within the relationship, the friendship. What's crossing? There's a slight problem there, something to be overcome. The King of Swords, um, interesting one. I can see it's floored me for a minute there, um, but maybe, actually we've got the same issue here that we are both reflecting the king of swords is a very wise card very compassionate card very bounded card maybe actually we are both projecting something better that we see in each other and how is this person within the relationship so very honest very blunt uh almost quite discompassionate really and, and yes, I have found that. There is a, a raw honesty there that sometimes catches my breath, is what I would say. Um, and so now we have the two people in the relationship, how they are relating, how they are. And I mean, arguably, if we're each projecting a better sense of each other, you know, it's a good thing, it's a growth. But it, it also makes for sort of some tension within the friendship. And I would use this spread for business partners, for romantic relationships, for the whole, does he love me? Is my husband having an affair? Key cards, I mean, this is a friendship relationship, but the Queen of Swords in a romantic relationship often refers to a single woman. I've seen this, I've seen the Queen of Swords in, in a man, um, sensing that he feels that his wife is emotionally detached. High Priestess, not a good card in a romantic relationship. It would suggest emotional detachment. Um, with the Knights, you're looking for, is that energy moving? You know, it has the person got their sights set outside of the relationship? Or is that Knight energy, is it here? Is it being bought in? So, you know, I can't give you a breakdown for every placement. You've really got to look at the six cards and how they relate. At this point, I know clients are always going to want to know what about the future. Obviously, if I'm reading, normally I'd spread it out further. I always start with the past. Fascinating. This was an internet relationship. The Knight of Swords often reflects an internet relationship. But there was a great deal of um, intellectual connection, trying to understand each other, understand our shared path. Present. Interesting. 
five of pentacles maybe we both feel a little bit left out maybe we both feel a little bit um I'm trying to think of the right word neither of us i don't think feels that we can live up to what the other wants that's what i'm going to say and in the future arguably we're both doing our own work arguably we're both working through our own stuff so that we can both feel better about ourselves card at the bottom of the pack always work worth having a look at i do think this is one of those soul friendships where we are both um pushing the other to let go of self-limiting beliefs um if you know me and you're trying to work out who this person is um, good luck. <laughs> I didn't pick somebody um, that's particularly well known in my social sphere um, because this is a deeply personal um, spread and one of the things I'm very keen in my YouTube videos is not to include anyone else in the cards. I can only really share about myself. Um, fascinating as I look at this spread, actually there are several people it could be I seem to attract this kind of friendship give it a go try it out I will um, have very clear um, notes um, in the write-up so you can give this a go for yourself and I hope you find it helpful